Have you ever wondered why the joy of the Lord has such strength? Why does the joy of the Lord have such power to uplift us with such awesome superlative energy and strength uh, uh, that we may not have at other times, that we cannot get through earthly joy? Why is that joy so wonderful? And why do we feel like it's an actual substance that we could cut like butter when it enters in and when it really begins to take over everything and begins to come in the room? And oh, it's like angels singing in the room. Why do we are we able to get such energy and strength out of that? And that is because God is so far above what we normally think God is. And all of his substance and power is so far above the normal expectation that when we get in tune with it, it just overwhelms us, you know. And the joy starts taking place and we begin to have more love and all of that because we've contacted some actual substance as opposed to the things which we try to get our joys out of. That are just really not not substantive. They're really not very substantive, and they really don't contain uh, that substance which has ever been a, a intended to provide joy. We're more or less just trying, just substituting those for the joy of the Lord, which we don't know how to get. But now, how do we get that joy of the Lord and have it more often? Have it flowing more often? Woo! I mean, it's a marvelous thing when we realize how do you get it because then we can keep it flowing all the time. You get it by putting your attention upon God and giving Him time to work, giving Him time to inspire you, uh, getting a, a, a quiet place to go and pray to God where other things are not interfering. And where your thoughts can get solidly upon God and you haven't got a dozen other thoughts running through you at all times. And so this is the thing, you know, I mean, even uh, it's, 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 it's a totally a different area. But even in transcendental medication, you know, where you have a mantra, the idea is to keep your mind all, just on that mantra alone. So that no other thoughts enter in. And so you're single. Your your mind is single thoughted. You know, it's your one track. Just on that one track. That's not it. And that, you know, the Bible says a pure in heart shall see God. You know, it's the same thing, only a lot more powerful when we learn how to get on a one track area with God as the only thought. God has to be our only thought. We can't be thinking, oh, I'm praying to God about this, that, and the other, but at the same time, I'm kind of planning dinner, or I'm planning what I'm going to do after I get through praying, or I'm praying what i got to do outside, or, you know, if you're praying in church, I'm praying to, uh, where I'm going to go out to eat after church. You've got to be a, uh, get on a single track where God is the only thing you're thinking about, and where you're asking God to give you that joy and that strength, and then you're looking for it with a one track mind. You're saying, I'm waiting for that joy, and when I, and then I'm going to expect that joy, and I'm going to think about nothing else but when is that joy going to come? When is that joy going to be, really be washing across me? When am I going to be able to shout with joy? When am I going to be able to jump with joy? And the, uh, Lord, I am waiting on your joy to take over. I am waiting right now. I'm praying for your joy. I'm going to think of nothing else except the joy of the Lord. I'm going to think of the reasons I have to be joyful about the Lord. I'm going to think about the joy of the Lord in a pure method, a pure means, uh, purely uh, separated from every other thought in this world. You know, it doesn't matter anything else that's going on in the world. The joy of the Lord is stronger than it all anyway. Uh, the joy and the love of the God will overtake everything anyway. The joy of the Lord is the and, uh, is powerful enough to put aside all of these other things for a while and concentrate upon his joy. And that joy will lift us above every problem and trouble. And just the sheer fact of doing that 
is a very, very healing thing to do. And it will clear everything out of our system, even our biological system, that is creating stress and strain and problems and tending to take us toward uh, disease and illness. And so we need to spend that time with God enough that he can pour out his real joy in a strong manner, then the joy of the Lord will be our strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength, and so on. And it'll be our strength. It'll provide great power. It'll, it'll calm us in every way. It'll calm the nerves. It'll calm everything all around us and in our body. And we will receive a, 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 a happiness and a peace and everything like we could never have imagined could ever happen. And so we want to understand just how awesomely superlative and how superlatively awesome this power of God uh, and this joy of God actually is because we have to realize that it goes beyond any other joy which we ever experience if we don't place we don't put it in a place of being far above every other joy which we've ever experienced or ever will experience then we're not putting it we're not giving it the right attention we're not giving it the right we're not putting it on the right pedestal we're not putting it in its right in the place that it deserves to be we, we're just not raising it to the point where our attitude is going to receive the joy of God the way we could if we give it its rightful place in our life. You know, the joy of the Lord is the presence of the Lord. And the presence of the Lord will bring joy. So if the presence of the Lord is there, then we should honor that presence of the Lord enough to stop and get quiet and give our attention to it enough that it can blow in a powerful way through us. And so if you want more joy, you know, just 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 give it an honored place. Just say, God, I honor you and I honor your presence and I honor the joy and I honor the power that you've got to give joy. And I am going to praise you and thank you for that joy. And uh, I am going to uh, break out in praise and break out in joy and accept it with great graciousness and oh God, I am going to be so thankful for the, every little bit of joy that you give me. And then I'm going to begin to blow that joy and blow it out into the world and let it come forth out of me the way it is intended to do as, as rivers of living water flowing out of my soul. I'm going to, I'm going to get the resistance out of the way and let that joy just begin to flow in a mighty way out to this world and give uh, other people an opportunity to enjoy that same uh, experience. And then I am going to begin to multiply that joy more and more by spending more and more time uh, uh, around the throne of God in prayer. And so we pretty well, you know, if when you ask uh, how do we get this joy of the Lord, and uh, where is it coming? How does it come? And pretty well, all of it that we need is always there. And we need to recognize and accept the fact that really, actually, all of this superlative and awesome and great and magnified joy is really always there all the time. And we are, are just got to begin to understand that we've got to take the blinders off of our eyes and see it. And we've got to ask God to help us to see what joy is all and that it is always present. And so it's not something that we have to think of as a mystery that may or may not be present or, you know, something that uh, may come along and create it and then it may go away and it may be just in and out. And it may be something that just floats through and then, uh, you know, sometimes it. We don't know when it's going to float through and when it's not. You know, it's like the wind. It just goes this way and that. We don't, never know what direction the wind's going to blow. From. But it's a consistent thing that will always flow in you when you get in the right attitude of prayer 
And when you get in the right receptive spirit, it's always going to come because God is always there and always present and always ready to give you that great joy and give you such joy that is so strong that it'll heal your body, it'll relax your mind, it'll take away tension, it'll take away stress, it'll give power of every kind, and, and it'll give you uh, understanding and foresight and all the wonderful things that God is will begin to flow in your life because God is always there. You know, we don't have the we don't have joy because we don't realize that God is always there. You know, and so when we start stop and realize that God is right here and He's able to answer all prayers and He's always here and with us, able to strengthen us and give us power and give us authority and give us a you know anoint us to heal and so forth. That brings great joy, and and, and it gets things out of the way that pre are preventing that joy, and so. Now I'm going to pray for everybody that you will begin to experience more and more of the joy of the Lord. That you will get greater and greater joy in your life. That every, you'll get the ability to be able to, to push aside everything that is interfering with that joy. That you'll be able to walk across uh, through the waters of, of, of life and walk across the dry land of joy into the promised land of where more and more joy is going to take place. It's a promised land that you can get into and you can walk toward where joy will just be more and more magnified and more and more power of it will flow and it will give you a greater and greater experience of joy each time you go back. All of that can come. Now, Lord, I just pray that you would anoint people with that joy of the Lord. Anoint them in the mighty way. Anoint them with healing power. Uh, heal people's bodies right now. Heal their mind. Heal them in every way. Raise them up in every way. Fill their whole mind, body, and soul with thy joy, with thy divine power now. And let it go through them and heal everything. And let it uh, uh, get rid of all diseases and all illnesses. And let it get rid of anything <clears throat> that would prevent them from seeing God in their life. And now I just pray all these things in the mighty, holy name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Oh, God, grant peace and power and joy now. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.